Hey, I hope you're having a great day. So as some of you may know, in my previous video, I went over my Facebook ads performance. I just launched my Facebook ads. It's probably been around a month now that I've had them active. And my average cost per lead was around $35 to $40. Facebook was telling me that this was above average, but I didn't really know what actions to take. So I connected to the Facebook Insights API. I outputted all that information into a metric tracking sheet. And then I set up a daily trigger to connect my AI agent to this data set and provide me with actionable next steps. The result was a decrease in the cost per lead from $35 to $40 all the way down to $4.70 per lead. I literally woke up seven new leads and under $35 Canadian in ad spend for those leads. The best part is, is that my AI was able to book those leads in. This is yesterday where you can see a new lead came in five minutes and then four minutes later that appointment had been confirmed. Immediately after, I received a text message with everything that the AI had discussed. In total, that cost me 54 cents. You can see the entirety of the conversation. It sent my calendar link and shortly after he booked into it. So when I say that this works, it not only works, but it reduced my cost per lead by over 700%. In today's video, we're going to be building out this entire system from scratch. And so I hope you're ready to get immense value out of this because it has completely changed the way that I'll be running my Facebook ads moving forward. And if you are a business owner looking to implement strategies like this into your business, there's a link down below you can book into a call and we could chat and see if we're a good fit to work together. With that being said, let's dive right in into how we can set this up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is to set up a basic trigger. So this is really just to fire this. And we're going to come in here. We're going to change this from at regular intervals to every day. I'm going to be running it at around 2 in the morning. And the reason we're doing this is we want to capture the previous day's results. So we want to make sure it's the following day before we run this trigger. Now from here, we're going to set up a router and it's going to go down each of these paths and it's going to get the insights and it's going to come down each of these paths and get the insights of our ad from the previous day. So in my case, I have three ads that are currently running. And so you, first thing that we're going to need to do is create our connection. So to do this, you're going to go to meta developer and you're going to hop in right here, hit my apps. And then you're going to click on create app. So go ahead, give your app a name. You can call it insights API, your use case. You can just go ahead and select other, choose business, and then you can choose your connected account, hit create. Okay. Now from here, you're going to set up the marketing API. Just go ahead and click all three, and then we'll hit get token. Then we're going to add another product. We're going to look in, we're going to look for Facebook login for business. I'm going to hit set up, and then we're just going to scroll down here to the valid OAuth redirect URIs. And you can see that we need this specific redirect URI to point Facebook insights to make. So we could drop it in here, hit save changes. And now if you click on your app settings and you go to basic, you'll see that we have an app ID and we also have an app secret. So we're going to copy the app ID. We're going to click on add. You can name it insights API and the name of your clients. You're going to drop in the client ID and the client secret, just like this. And now when you hit save, it's going to ask you to log in. And then once that's done, you'll see that you're connected. And now you can get insights for either campaign, ad account, ad set, or ad. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to choose ad because we want to see all the metrics of our ad. We're going to choose our account. So I have three ads that are running right now. First one is static ad five. So we'll set up everything that we're going to be tracking in terms of the fields and the breakdown. And then we'll just copy and paste it to our other ads and change the ad. So the date preset we're going to set to yesterday. And then we're going to turn this on and drop this in. So I went ahead and set all of this up for you beforehand so that you'd just be able to copy paste this. So you can see now if we turn off map, all of the fields have been selected and we're going to do the same with breakdown as well. We're going to set the limit to one and then we're going to hit save. And then after that, we're going to set up a new Google Sheets and we're going to select add a row. So go ahead, connect to your Google. We're going to set up a new spreadsheet and I'm just naming mine add insights metric tracking. And now I'm just going to add in all of the fields one by one. Okay, so I've gone and done that now. You can see we got our nice little table here. Okay, now we need to come into here. We're just going to map all of those fields. So we'll go ahead, we'll choose our sheet that we created. 
Now we're just going to add all of those va values in one by one that we created. Okay, so now that we've done that, we'll just go ahead and duplicate this for all our other ads. And we'll just change this. All right, perfect. So now that's set up and this is scheduled to run. Now, I will be hopping back over to N8N for the second portion because that is where my MCP server is set up and connected. Now in our MCP server trigger, we're going to be connecting to that Google Sheets that we just created. So go ahead, add your MCP server. I do have another video going over how you can set all of this up. We'll choose our table, add insight metric tracking, and we're done there. We can hit save. Then we are going to create another workflow. We are going to set up a schedule trigger. Okay, so we're going to set this to 2 a.m. And we're going to set this to trigger at 2.10. So that gives us 10 minutes for our other automation to run. From there, we're going to connect it to an AI agent. Now in our AI agent, we're going to change this to define below. We're going to set our prompt now. And you can see right here, you're an AI ad performance analyst. You'll be given a Google Sheet spreadsheet containing daily Facebook ad metrics with the following columns. When you receive this sheet, do the following. So the overall trend summary, flag any significant spikes or drops, top and bottom performers, and audience and placement insights. Okay, so I went ahead and modified the system prompt just slightly. Now from there, we're going to need our chat model. So I'm going to be connecting the OpenAI chat model. After that, we need memory. So I'm just going to be using the simple memory. And we're going to need a tool. So this is when we'll add our MCP client tool. We're going to put in our end, our server endpoint right here. So you could just hit save on this. We're going to name it the Facebook Ads Insight Analyzer. We can click back on our MCP server trigger and grab this. Head back into our MCP client and paste it in. And then we're also going to add the Think tool here as well. So now on a daily basis, it's going to run. It's going to hit our MCP client. It's going to check that table, which will have our campaign results. And then we are going to send an email with that output. So to do this, we will need to get some data in here. So we can go back to our Facebook Ads Insight, click and just hit run once. So now we have our sample data in here. It's finished running. And now let's just delete this for a second. We'll add in a chat trigger. We'll connect it to our agent. Please analyze yesterday's performance. So there we go, guys. Had to update my N8N to the latest version. Now it's connected. You can see that it's hit our MCP client, retrieve that information. And now we successfully have this output. Now from here, we'll attach our email. So send email. I'm going to create a new credential. You'll need your username, your password, and the host and the client host name. So you should just be able to do a search. So I'm using Gmail, but you would just search Gmail SMTP settings, and it'll provide you with the host, the port, and everything else that you're going to need. So in my case, the host is this. And then you'll just fill out your username and password. So once you've connected, you can just drag and drop your output right in here. And it'll give you a breakdown. So just go ahead and test this step just to make sure it's working. Okay, so I ended up going with the Gmail built-in functionality here. You could see that this is what we got. But it's not in a very nice format or anything that we would want to send to a client. So we're going to come back into our AI agent. We're going to click system message. And we are going to drop in this email HTML formatter. That I had. We're going to test this step again. We're going to see the output now, how it's changed. You can see now it's in HTML format. And now we can go ahead and test this step again. Now you can see we get a much nicer email that we can read through. Okay, here's our ad actions. Okay, keep this one active. Maybe pause the other two with clear, actionable insights on what to do and what the budget recommendations it suggests are. So I know we covered a lot today. This is extremely powerful and literally allowed me to reduce my cost per lead from around $38 to $4.70. So if you did get value out of this, please consider dropping a subscribe. It's free, helps support the channel, and allows me to continue making videos like this for you. With that being said, hope you have an incredible day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.